I decided to go to Real Life Los Santos for 24 hours. There was a lot of GTA 6 leaks recently and a lot of talk about the next GTA game that I thought to myself we're probably gonna start missing GTA 5. Because regardless, GTA 5 is the most iconic GTA game of all time, including the map of it. The map is just iconic. And let's go on this journey together and see what the real life version of the game looks like. You can say we're gonna play GTA 5 with Ultra. Ultra ultra realistic graphics. Jeez, look at that supercar. There's a green Lambo right there and an old Ferrari. That's like the Turismo Classic in GTA. Look at this Jubilee right there. I bet it has a Monty Tech on it. Would you look at that? It is Eclipse Towers. I live here in GTA, which means my arcade is supposed to be somewhere over here, but it's not over here. What's going on? Where's my arcade at? I've literally driven through this road in GTA so many times. Hey, another Jubilee right there. It actually looks pretty similar to the GTA 5 version. I don't believe it. Let's ask this guy if I could go in. But I live here in GTA, so could I go in? But I live here in GTA. I'm sorry? In GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto yeah, 5, I live in. Game, I spent like a million dollars on it in GTA. Yeah, that's, that's game, that's I guess in real life, it doesn't really have a garage entrance. So this is it. Very similar looking for the most part. These houses are crazy. Look at this one. Now, who knows this area? This is where the clothing store is going to be right back there somewhere. Look at these cars. We got the Jubilee and we got basically the T20 or whatever other McLaren we have in the game. And also a Benefactor Dubster right there, which is a Mercedes G-Wagon. You kind of see a lot of those here, to be honest. All right, so this is the street. The clothing store is meant to be right over there somewhere. And another T20 right there. You definitely recognize this place. Would you look at that, a yellow Toros, aka a Lamborghini Urus, that is beautiful. And I definitely recognize this street, which means Los Santos Customs is supposed to be over there, but it's probably not because this is real life. I found the Windsor drop in real life with a yellow paint job, yellow rims, custom license plate as well. This thing is nice. Convertible version. Three hours later. Wow, it is a beautiful sunset in Los Santos. Well, from here, I've driven into the water so many times. Look at this, the surfer, the surfer in real life. Sunset, skate park. Two hours later. There's the Vinewood sign. It should say Vinewood, but for some unknown reason, it's Hollywood. And then we also have a beautiful view of Los Santos, AKA Los Angeles, downtown. You can see everything. I enjoyed LA, or I should say Los Santos. Maybe when GTA 6 comes out, a bit after it comes out, I might go to Miami. Let's go to the locations that we saw in real life. The first one is going to be Eclipse Towers. I can tell you that this road right here that goes downhill, it's not like that in real life, but Eclipse Towers itself is actually really realistic. It's super accurate to the real life version. That's crazy. I was literally walking on this exact sidewalk. And of course, we also saw the Hollywood sign, aka the Vinewood sign. Now, I was literally here in real life doing the hike a little bit ago and now I'm playing the game that's based on the real life location of this thing. Possibly the highlight of the trip was the Santa Monica Pier and Venice Beach which is just the pier in game and let me tell you the pier is very very accurate to the real life version. Actually this whole area right here is very very accurate. I was literally standing next to these railings looking over at that parking lot and the big ferris wheel and the roller coaster and stuff. It was a little bit windy like even this 
highway right here and just this whole area and the parking lot it's exactly the same this entrance is actually a little bit longer than the real life version i don't think it's this long in real life there were a lot more people as well like there is freaking no one compared to the real life version it was packed these little shower areas are actually pretty realistic they did have a couple of these that i passed i was right next to the skate park as well there were a lot of people around this area the palm trees are pretty accurate there were a ton of palm trees there were a lot more basketball courts there's only one in game but i could safely say there's a good like around four basketball courts and there's also pickleball in real life and stuff so this isn't super accurate but here is muscle beach they did have this in real life of course the maze bank tower is super realistic just like most of the downtown buildings are pretty realistic especially the maze bank tower which in real life i believe is the u.s bank tower so overall great trip it was really cool to see gta 5 in ultra 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 realistic graphics you could say now click the video on screen now for the fastest vehicles in gta 5 i hope you all enjoy that video and peace